That's close enough. Bandai Namco presents. You're late. Digimon is never late. Digimon is never late. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I've missed you, Digimon. You know what else I've missed? Digimon World. Yeah. One of my. I said I said that just like the guy from the guy from the first game. Where else? Digimon World. <laughs> So all these characters, all these no, little wait. characters. No, wait! Where are you going? Did you not work? Oh yeah, that stupid beep, lip beep, sync. Beep. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. But yeah, so, it was one of, one of our favourite games growing up, wasn't it? It certainly was. And this is basically a really cool sequel to it. Direct yeah. sequel. Well, I, yeah, it is a sequel. Mm. Uh, because all other Digimon games kind of went off, like, like the Digimon series kind of went off and do their own thing. Each Digimon game went off and did its own thing, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. And that's cool. I like how they try to keep it fresh. Sometimes it's not successful, like Digimon World 2. Yeah, was that... Uh, I, I, I never played that one. Uh, it looked shit. Mm. And, it, and it was just really dumb. Mm. I was uh, I was partway through um, a Digimon World 3 playthrough before I started playing this. And what's really... Well, it's got a lot of backtracking in it, but what it does is has these subtle little cues to direct you where to go, and you kind of got to think about it to figure it all out. And in a way that's cool, because it's satisfying to do it. But um, it also means that if you get stuck it can be really frustrating running back and forth. I stopped playing it to start playing this game, and I finally went back to it the other day, and I have no damn clue what I'm meant to be doing. i got to figure it out eventually by consulting a walkthrough. Hmm. Okay. Now, this would be the part where I would say we'd probably go for easy, because we just want to enjoy the game. But we're actually recording this in post, aren't we? Yes, but because of unfortunate, well, events we couldn't foresee. The data got corrupted, basically. Yeah. This is the second time this has happened to me that I can remember. Third, last time it was the video, and that was such a ball ache. And now it's the audio, which, you know, we can just record, re-record, whatever. We oh. decide to go with the male character, don't we? Yeah, because, well... We might show the the female character. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> she, but, uh, didn't even consider yeah, it. She sucks ass. She's all right, but she her sound bites are a bit shrill. Yeah, yeah. They're just because she's voiced by Orihime, who's um. She's. I think she could have done a good voice, but she's just like too upbeat. Like you can do it, and ooh wee, <laughs> ooh wee. Look at me. Maybe it wasn't Orihime then. Maybe it was just Royal. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Because, you know, they've imported voices in this as DLC. Maybe they should import just yeah. the Roland version. He could do his Rick voice for Digimon. Uh, listen here, you little fucking Digidestin, you gotta go there and, and recruit people. You gotta indoctrinate them with the truth of the city. And we can... There's fucking cyborg dinosaurs out there, man. We gotta stick together on this. Oh, I don't know, Digimon. That, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I mean... You gotta you got stop being such a little pussy and, and be true to yourself. You know, to find your inner crest and, and, and use it. Train the Digimon. All take right. him to the bathroom. Yeah. You gotta take him to the bathroom. Okay, you, you've convinced me. <laughs> My name's Capaldi, by the way. Yeah, we named him after... after Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi, because in our, in our previous playthrough, we... We named our character McGann after That Paul was McGann. the reason, wasn't it? I was wondering yeah. why we went with Kapali. Yeah. Yeah. It just made sense. Next time we play a Digimon game, we can call them Whittaker. It's been seven years. I hope I haven't lost it. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, they were they're about to go to a, um, a tournament, weren't they? I, I'm not sure. I think maybe they just found the old Digivice and it's like, oh, I fancy having a go with this again. I haven't played with this for a while. He looks... I, sometimes he looks alright, but sometimes his model looks a bit... He looks like an, uh, a doofus. Yeah, like... Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, like his, his, his face is too small. It's like a, it's like a Minecraft face. Hmm. Oh, where am I? I mean, where am I? Give me your coat. <laughs> Give me your coat. I don't want to, I'm cold. Every, what time, is... what? every time there's an explanation mark, we should say, Give me your coat. <laughs> yeah. That's what it means. I'm cold. Look at the pixels coming off me. I'm cold. Give me your, give me your digi chrome <laughs> coat. 
No, it has special digital data coming off the back of it. Well, I want it. Give it to me. Uh oh. Here. Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat fuck. Here he is, the man himself. Machine Draymond. I was gonna say Donald Trump. Hmm. <laughs> oh God. He's not. Ah! He's not happy to see us. Build a wall. Build it. <laughs> Whoa, do you seem like Cracker's neck? It's like, let's do this. I'm gonna fuck your shit. Now that's pretty fucking scary. Look yeah. at him, at least he's scared shitless. <laughs> Question mark, give me your core. That's what he said. Capaldi, give me your core. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. That's not Capaldi speaking. Yeah. Oh, these guys already have voices anyway. Yeah, you've d recently downloaded the um, DLC that gives them voices throughout the whole thing. Do you regret that? Uh, what do you mean? Well, when I was watching, when I was watching it, yeah, they were always going. Rah! Well, that's only because they're pissed off. It's the beginning of a game. When, yeah. it, when it's the beginning of a game, like they never get along, so they're always well, screaming at each other. That, that's the thing, though, because it's kind of like, in a way, it's easy mode a little bit because you don't have to worry about them. I mean, obviously, you still have to train them up and make them strong and stuff, but they're basically set to always digivolve into these characters, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. Which is which is all right, but you know, it, having the choices that having the choice there is good. Yeah. But you know, obviously, we won't go that down that road. In fact, we don't go down that road because you know we already know because we're in the future right now. Yeah, we're in the future. We know what choices we've made, um, and we regret them all. <laughs> I wish I could have seen. Um, uh, Argumon and Gavamon though, because you say that they apparently had the voices from the show. Yeah, that, they're alright. Argumon's a bit... Like... Gabumon's, Gab Gabumon's like little uh, voice clips are, you know, short and concise and, you know, accurate and they sound good. Uh, whereas Argumon's, they sound good, but they drag on a bit. Yeah. So like, say for example, they're hungry. And sometimes they'll play the, the audio clip twice. He'll go. He'll go. That's not good. That's 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 not good. So mm. say something like that. Oh my god, he's sniffing his tail. <laughs> he's like, Ugh, you know what? Maybe we should make love, not war, Machine Greymon. <laughs> yeah, shake it for me, baby. I'm Love Greymon. I like how he's got all his attention on Gurumon. That's right. Oh, by the way, I think I've figured out what a step block is because I was reading the manual. I think a step block is where one of the characters. Gets in front of the other one to defend them. Oh yeah. Uh, have you ever noticed that happen? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I like it when Walt Graham does it because he just zooms it and zooms in out of nowhere and he just like grabs his shield and just goes. Hurrah! Yeah. It's like you'll never take him from me. He is like, my world. <laughs> what are you doing, Walt Graham? You know, sometimes you just gotta wing it. Yeah. That's supposed to be NCIS. Yes. And also because he was using his wings to block the attack. See, that's, the, that's something they should add for DLC. Goggles. You can put goggles in your Digimon. <laughs> I suppose if you get Hackmon, you don't have to worry about that. See, that's something I'm quite interested about with New Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. It's like you can customize your clothing and accessories. Yeah. Um, which you know, it was a bit, it was a bit fan servy in the uh, in the Birth by Sleep um, demo for. Kingdom Hearts 3 because mm. you, you were playing as Aqua and she's like the only like well she's like she's like the bombshell player character in in the Kingdom Hearts series she's yeah. got a nice rack she's got mm. a nice bootay is she the only female main character that you can play as that you can play as yes no no actually I think you can play as Shion in one of the um, handheld games Mm. But obviously I've never played them because handheld games suck. I need my hands for controller and to jerk my dick ah. if a sexy cutscene comes on. Damn it. It's no good. Their voice acting here is a, like... Look, look at... Ah, oh, you almost... Look, yeah, yeah, you can see his hand. See? Oh yeah, I've seen his hand. Yeah, but see, they're basically human hands but they're sort of monstery. No, they're just human hands with... Claws. Not even claws, just really long fingernails. Well, that's what claws are, aren't they? Let's go. No, claws, claws are a little bit different from finger, fingernails. Mm. For one thing, they're extra thick, like Donald Trump. He's extra a... thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extra thick, like um, well, yeah, like uh, what's his name? Aku. 
Do you think Aku! if Do you think after the four years is up, you think if um, Donald Trump was running against Aku, who do you think would win? Is that a trick question? No, I'm legitimately asking. Oh, here we go! E X E, which is basically a blast DNA digivolution. It is, and you see what they did there. there? E X E. That's that's a file format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's like they're turning into a different file format. Uh, when they did evolve, did they turn into different file formats? So they just always mons. I think they're usually always mons. But yeah, I like that fan theory that mon is their file extension. Yeah. So, oh, it's a fan theory. It's not actually canon. I don't think it is canon, but I think it makes sense for what happens. But if it, um, if you'd like, took it to its extreme, it would be like Agu dot mon and Gabu dot mon. He's facing the wrong way, dipshit. www dot Agu dot mon. Agu dot mon. Transcendent sword. You're dead. Oh, you don't even get to see how much damage that did. Well, you. Yeah, you can't even see. So like four digits, but you don't know if it did, you know, all the damage. Oh, oh no, you no, do. Yeah, it. it took off half his damage. That seems about right. Yeah, but Machine Draymon is um is a combination of all the strongest Ultimate Digimon from the original V Pets. So he can he can just take it. Why do you keep calling it V Pets? That's what it's called. Uh, well, the originals were. I think they're, I'm pretty sure the originals were called Digimon V Pets. Oh god, you guys suck! <laughs> I'm sorry, master. Give me your coat! You're dying anyway, so give mm -hmm. me your coat. Urga. It'd be good. I know um, this game probably had like a limited budget, but it would have been cool if they had more cutscenes like this, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. No, I, I still appreciate all these cutscenes. I do. I, I, I think it's good that they're limited. Mm. But I just wish there were... Like, the, the amount... Of, these kind of cutscenes use, like, really well-rendered ones. Yeah. Um, there, there, there's, a, there's a good amount of these in the game. There's about five or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what I'd like to see more of is... Well, less of a text, more of a sort of these cutscenes. Where, you know, the camera's panning and everything. It's yeah. not just like a still shot of what's going on in the background. And then having the characters talk to each other via dialogue yeah. text. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that would be cool. I do wonder how much of it is just to make it cheaper. So if you ever wondered who turns into... Who, you know, canon turns <laughs> into Machine Dramon, it's... It's Tokemon. I mean, you should have been able to tell, really. He's, he's a little psycho. You've seen, is, his, yeah. you've seen his teeth? Yeah. He's a feral little bastard. He's got two massive teeth and then, like, horrible little mutant, te under <laughs> yeah. mutant teeth underneath. Just he's like a, Machine Dramon. He's a Xenomorph. Yeah. A Xenomorph. <laughs> he went, oh, God. They're dead. Already. <laughs> oh, man. What if, like, at the, um, after the 12th episode of Digimon Adventure... Um, TK's egg hatched and a face hugger got onto him, and then a little Togemon burst out of his chest. Whoa. That'd be awesome. Mm. And he just screams in his face saying, ANSWER ME! <laughs> oh wait, that's not TK. That's Matt. That's what Matt <laughs> says. Togemon! What did you do with TK? <laughs> ANSWER that was ME! horrible, you can do better than that. Well, no, that was meant to be Togemon though. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> that wasn't very good either. <laughs> That's what he goes like. Fine. Tokemon's. What is Tokemon? Tokemon just sounds like Patmon, really. Yeah, but a little baby. Uh, more babyish. He's more, he's more of a valley kid than a valley girl, I guess. No. Oh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. So, yeah, the dub in this is kind of spotty. It, it's, a lot of it's good, but uh, some of it's a little... It's because silly. they have no idea what they're doing. Yeah. In terms of voice acting, yeah, sure, but in terms of who they're playing as, they don't know. They don't know who Gigi Mon is. They're like, who the fuck is this guy? They probably thought it was a black guy when they first saw it in the script. It's like, oh, I got the perfect voice for this. Ah, oh, I'm Andy Murphy. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> welcome to the digital world, and it's me. I've got a little paw on my stick. Uh, I like to spank people with it. That's, that's uh, all I do. They're dead. Oh, He's well, dead. <laughs> we digitize them to death. So yeah, this but, I'm I'm interested to see the eggs because I want to see if we actually have the DLC eggs. Mm, I, don't, I don't remember <laughs> what's happening. No, we don't. Yeah, I didn't think we did at the time. No, 
Um, but Digimon sounds a little bit like, um, I don't know, he sounds like a sort of lower budget uh, PlayStation Store game voice acting. Yeah. Like, like you could imagine him in Trine or something. I think um, most of the humans sound pretty good, and the Digimon sound alright. It's just uh, the tamers, uh, the male tamer sounds fine, the female tamer's a bit weird, and Gigimon's a bit weird. Mm. So I like how it sort of gives you, because you've got two Digimon, mm. it gives you plenty of choices if you want to have like a good team up. Yeah. You've got, well first of all you've got pretty much all of the uh, first adventure Digimon. Yeah. Uh, but you've also got the choice of like Terrymon and Lotmon. You know they're a good choice because Gil they're twins. Uh, what? Gilmon. Who would he pair with? What? Who would he pair with? Oh, I don't know. I'm oh, saying, right. I'm... In terms of pairs, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got Argumon, Gabumon. They're an obvious pair because they turn into Omnimon. Yeah. And then you got Beamon and Palmon. They're sort of like the girl, mm. the girl versions of Argumon and Gabumon. Yeah. And not even that. Just they—they they are the girls of. The old uh, adventure. You can have uh, Tokemon and Nyomon. Nyanmon, yeah. N yeah. Uh, Nyanmon. <laughs> Nyanmon. <laughs> well, that's what it's supposed to be, Nyanmon. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Did you... I probably told you this a bunch of times, but you know how Garurumon got his name, don't you? Uh, he, he was going to make that noise? Yeah, it's the, it's the onomatopoeia... It's in Japan, it's the onomatopoeia oh, for uh, the sound that a wolf makes when it howls. <laughs> so it's like the um, the, the cleric beast dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Sounds ah! a bit. It kind of reminds me of Nixon, the cleric beast. Not the cleric beast, but the dog. What do you mean? Yeah, he goes. Haru! And the second one, oh yeah, I wanted Palmon. See, we at this point we decided we'd probably sp split each egg. Mm. So you'd have you'd be responsible for one Digimon, I'd be yeah. responsible for the other. I wanted, and uh, I think I was pretty sure we were only going to get Ultimates uh, this early on in the game, even on easy mode. So I wanted to get Antilamon, and you were aiming for Lilymon, weren't you? Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. Which are two really cool designs. I think they're two of my favorite Ultimates. Yeah. My other two are Zudomon and uh, Virus Metal Greymon. Indeed. The ne you know how, like, in Pokemon, all the, digi all the Pokemon are, like, ordered? They got numbers, they got, like, they're, le they're grouped by their levels and stuff. Whereas in Digimon, there's, like, no ordering at all. And the naming system is weird, too. Because, like, you got, uh, um, you got Gabumon, right? Then you got Psychmon, who's, like, the off brand Gabumon. Oh, yeah. But then you got Gabumon open brackets black. But then he turns into Shadow Garurumon and Shadow Wear Garurumon, but then back to Wear Garurumon open brackets black. And with Argumon, it's even weirder. Because it's Argumon, no, it's Black Argumon, then Greymon open brackets black, even though he's, no, open brackets blue, then Metal Greymon open brackets virus, then Black War Greymon, and it just, it's, there's no consistency to it at all. He didn't say open bracket. It doesn't say open bracket virus. It does. It says open bracket blue. I thought it said open brackets virus. No, it said blue. Mm. What they should have called him was Blackie and Blackosaurus. Well, we can call him that. <laughs> yeah. We're calling them something stupid now. Oh yeah, I I did Kazma because in Summer Wars, um, King Kazma looks a little bit like um, Antilamon, and you chose Krista because you should have done Historia. Oh, the spoilers! No, I, why Why should I have done this story? Well, why did you do Chris? Oh, yeah, Krista, because she's like the fairy from uh, Fern Gully. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about Fern Gully, but... I think so, I... So I think did I, 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 I... No, yeah, no, I asked you what's the, what's the girl called in Fern Gully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Krista is a very nice, very nice name. It's weird, like, some of, some Digimon are like animals and they're a bit stupid, so you could see why they'd need a tamer. But then you got, like, Angemon, and it's weird to sort of be taking a grown man to the bathroom, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm. But it's not so weird taking a grown woman to the bathroom. <laughs> just taking... Um, it's just not with the intent to go actually use the toilet. Come on, make! Make! This is like, I'm trying! <laughs>